Welcome to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DV, DJ Rain. And when we come back, we're going to be talking to my guest, George Chuck, chairperson of Mississippi Greek Weekend. So make sure you tune in. Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DV, DJ Rain, and I'm sitting here with George Chuck with Mississippi Greek Weekend. George, how are you? Good, man. How you doing? Good, man. Glad to have you. Glad to be here, man. Now, before we get into talking about Mississippi Greek Weekend, everything that it entails, uh, right. give us a little background information on you and what you have going on. Okay. Well, uh, I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama, mm -hmm. so I uh, grew up on the coast uh, of Alabama. Did a lot of hunting as a young kid. Still bow hunt today. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. Got about a 50, 60 pound drawback on my bow. Really? Yeah. So, you know, don't let the soup pans fool you, man. I can get in the woods. See, I don't have the patience for that. I love it, man. I can go to sleep in a tree. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, after I left Alabama, I came up to Mississippi, mm -hmm. um, to Jackson, specifically Tougaloo, and uh, went to Tougaloo for four years. And after I did grad school, I actually got a job at Tougaloo and been working there for the past seven years. Mm -hmm. So in, in between all of that, I started DJing in 99 when I graduated from uh, high school. And that took me all the way through college and grad school. And it still got me going mm -hmm. uh, late nights, early mornings. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know how that so is. That's the life, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of explain to us and the viewers exactly what Mississippi Greek Weekend is. Okay, well, uh, I'm not sure if, you know, if, have you ever heard of Q-Delta? Q-Delta Weekend in Hattiesburg? No. Okay. Um, Q-Delta Weekend in Hattiesburg, they draw about, and I'm an Omega, mm -hmm. so uh, our nickname is, you know, like the Q's. So Q-Delta Weekend is like a, a partnership between the Q's and the Delta. So Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated and then Delta Sigma Theta. They've been doing Q-Delta for like 25, almost 30 years, if not 35, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But um, it brings like 40, 50,000 people to Hattiesburg from all over the Southeast. Uh, some folks fly in mm -hmm. from other parts of the country. And uh, I've been going to it since 2001. And they've got uh, concerts, parties that happen, you know, different promoters mm -hmm. try to tag on to what they're doing. And I'm thinking, where is that for Jackson? Right. Uh, you got Atlanta Greek Picnic that happens in Atlanta, Georgia. People fly from all over the country to go to this. And I'm thinking, like, where is that for Jackson? Right. So uh, I just said, man, let's try it. And uh, we did it. And, you know, now it's 2012. So when, when was the first one that you got? The first one was in 2008. And uh, we did it on campus at Tougaloo. Because, um, you know, I mean, we got a, not a huge uh, population, but we got a huge campus. We mm -hmm. got 500 acres at Tougaloo, so, I mean, we could easily, you know, ha host an outdoor festival, which is what Mississippi Greek Weekend is. Uh, four days, uh, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, different events throughout the, the weekend. And uh, you got mostly outdoor events, but then you got some after parties, some 5K runs and walks that happen. Uh, throughout the, the event, so it's pretty cool. Now, from the time, like the time that, uh, that you started um, in 2008 up until, let's say, last year, have you seen like a dramatic like growth and participation in the event? Not necessarily dramatic. Uh, it's kind of like I had a vision for it, so I, I kind of knew what to expect, mm -hmm. and we kind of just planned for the growth. Okay. So, like for instance, the first year, you basically had just folks from Jackson and a few from, you know, like Alcorn, Valley, mm -hmm. uh, Mississippi State, Ole Miss that came down. Last year we had folks come as far as, uh, I want to say it was Southern Illinois, so I'm not sure what city that is, but Southern Illinois University, uh, the Zetas from that school came down, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority. Then uh, the University of South Alabama, which is in my hometown, Mobile, mm -hmm. their whole Panhellenic Council came up. So uh, you've got an event that started on campus at Tougaloo right. that has grown into like the city of Jackson and it's representing the state of Mississippi now. 
that's a, that's that's amazing. It's right pretty there. cool. Yeah, it yeah. is. So, so the 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 fraternities from out of state. Do they hear about it through social networks? Was it word of mouth? It's word of mouth. Uh, I like to call it word of mouse because mm -hmm. you know everybody's either you know using their smartphone or you know they're on their uh, laptop or iPad or whatever. You know they're sharing things through email. So uh, you know we got the Twitter, we got Facebook, uh, Instagram. YouTube, all of that. Right. Yeah. So it's like MS Greek Weekend, basically on every social media, popular social media network. And we got to get on that Vito you've been telling us about. Yeah, you yeah. do definitely. I mean, it's great exposure right there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> now you, you know, people are always doing events, are always starting things. You know, sometimes there's success, sometimes not so much. Is there? Anything that you think might be like one of the primary reasons that you that the events got so much support? I think because uh, of our commitment to the community. Mm -hmm. It's not all about the, you know, the step show or the party or anything. Uh, it's it's about us serving the community. So we've got different events that we do leading up to Mississippi Greek Weekend. Like last year, we did the uh, Mississippi Greek Weekend International Fashion Show, mm -hmm. and it was on September 11th. And it was to show the uh, the international community, uh, the cultural diversity of Jackson, of the state of Mississippi. We're not just all white and black folk just sitting around, you know, going deer hunting. Right. We've got a lot of different nationalities, ethnicities, cultures that you know sit in this state. And, uh, and dwell together every day, and we, we have fun with each other. So we did a fashion show to highlight different uh, fashion styles of those cultures and of those ethnicities. So that's what we did last year, and we raised money for uh, a couple of uh, worthy organizations in the city. All right, well, you know, with all that being said, um, are there charities that Mississippi Greek Weekend supports? Yeah, um, this year we're focusing mainly on one charity, one because of a uh, the Cure Sickle Cell Foundation, they're doing their uh, Zumbathon and, and barbecue contest. Mm -hmm. It's after Mississippi Greek Weekend. So traditionally, uh, the Cure Sickle Cell Foundation usually has their 5K walk on the Sunday. And that's one of the reasons why we picked the fourth Saturday in September. Mm -hmm. So this year, we're kicking off uh, Mississippi Greek Weekend with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Okay. And we're doing a big walk with them um, on September 20th at Trustmark Park. Now, what is the uh, what is the route for that? The, the route? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it'll be inside of Trustmark Park, so it'll be you know around the oh, baseball okay. diamond. Okay, okay, yeah, I got you. So uh, it won't. It may begin like in the parking lot mm -hmm. uh, with the the ceremony and everything, but it'll it'll stay inside the stadium and uh, for the most part. I got you. Yeah. Well, we're going we're going to take a little short break. Come back. I want to finish on talking about that okay. and how people can get involved. Um, Make sure you stay tuned and when we come back we're going to be talking to George Chuck and talking about this Mississippi Greek Weekend and everything it has to offer to the community. For more inquiries on the 5th Annual Mississippi Greek Weekend, September the 20th through the 23rd, 2012, call 601-706-9273 or log on to www.mississippigreekweekend.com or go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube and type in Mississippi Greek Weekend. Exposure TV, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. on Comcast Cable, Channel 18, Pad Network. Exposure TV is produced by Peaches, host and producer of On Location TV. Thanks to House of Pain for their assistance. Check out DV DJ Ryan and the Nasty Show at the Best Nectar After Party, Monday, October the 8th at Club Magoo's with special guests DJ Doc Rock and Club La Vila resident DJ NYU. Doors open at 10 p.m. Def Tell DJs. Def Tell DJs. Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DV DJ Rain, and if you're just now tuning in, my guest today is George Chuck with Mississippi Greek Weekend. 
Uh, George, we were talking about the charities that the weekend's involved in. Yeah. Uh, finish telling me about the uh, the run. The yeah. Walk. The uh, well, it's a it's a remembrance walk. Mm -hmm. So the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society they do something called Light the Night, mm -hmm. and uh, Light the Night this year for uh, Mississippi and Louisiana, the two chapters, uh, the two states basically get together at Trustmark Park on uh, September 20th and it'll be like a, I think it's about a 2K walk. Mm -hmm. um, this year we won't have our 5K with the Cure Sickle Cell Foundation because we're doing a Zumba-thon and a uh, barbecue contest. So mm -hmm. uh, during Mississippi Greek Weekend, we'll just be focusing on Light the Night with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Okay. So uh, it'll kick off with uh, a remembrance ceremony around 5.30 and then the walk will start right after that. And uh, your buddy, The Nasty Show, he'll be DJing for the, uh, the whole thing, so nice. pretty cool. Yes, good for him. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so, if anybody wants to get involved, um, you know, with the walk or anything like that for that or for those events, um, who do they contact for that? Well, they could contact us, uh, Mississippi Greek Weekend. We got a phone number, uh, mm -hmm. you know, seven zero six Y A R D Yard, mm -hmm. um, or they can go to our website and we've got a link on there where they can click on our page, uh, Mississippi Greek Weekend dot com, and there, there's a banner on the right hand side that says uh, I'm walking for a reason mm -hmm. and they can click on that and it takes them to our team page where they can do an online donation okay. um, you know it can be any amount right. and all of that money goes to fund research around leukemia and lymphoma. Now of all the charities that you know are out there what what was the main motivation of um, selecting these charities? Well one, one reason was my grandmother mm -hmm. uh, she actually has well she just passed Sunday Oh, I'm sorry to hear yeah. that. Yeah, and uh, she had a long battle with multiple myeloma, mm -hmm. and so that's a disease of the blood. So the the two similarities between cure, uh, sickle cell and then leukemia and lymphoma, all of them are uh, diseases of the blood. A lot of people don't know um, about these diseases of the blood and, and how it impacts, uh, you know, your lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. So with uh, the lymphatic system, that's throughout your entire body. So you got lymph nodes when you get like a little swelling. Mm -hmm. That's your lymph nodes telling you it's fighting off infection. A lot of people don't, don't know about it, so we wanted to focus on that. Mm -hmm. And then it was a, a easy sell for me with my grandmother having uh, multiple myeloma. And I wanted to, you know, raise some money for an organization that helped folks that were battling, battling what she was battling. Now, <coughs> the, um, you know, the Greek organization, they're really known for like a lot of the work in the community and so with that being said how do you how do you think um, Mississippi Greek Weekend is going to continue that legacy of uh, contributing back to the community right now we're doing voter registration across the entire state really? so we've, we've partnered with uh, this is my vote dot org mm -hmm. uh, we've partnered with Mississippi move and we're basically doing voter education and voter registration so We've been rolling, we're doing it at nightclubs, Greek parties, uh, basically making sure that everybody is registered to vote um, and making sure they're educated on the issues because, you know, we had that voter ID mm -hmm. uh, bill that was passed, but it's not a law yet. So, right. you know, it was voted on and it, it passed, but it's not a law. So, you know, with this election, we don't have to have an ID, a voter ID to vote. Mm -hmm. You just register and then, you know, you go in and you vote. So um, that's just one of the ways that we're, we're doing different things you know, outside of the money that we'll be raising for the charities and then the volunteers that we're uh, recruiting for different organizations. Nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Um, so now let's kind of get down to the nuts and bolts of it and find out exactly what events are going to be going on um, throughout the weekend. With okay. Mississippi Greek Weekend. Well, like we've been saying, the walk, uh, mm -hmm. Light the Night Walk, it kicks off the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. Like we're starting off with service and we'll finish with service. So uh, that's September 20th, that's a Thursday. So uh, when you're getting off of work, around about 5.30, you can make it to Church Mart Park. Mm -hmm. The walk should end around like 7.30, 8 o'clock. After that, we'll head over to the university place right over by Jackson State. Mm -hmm. It's a cool sports bar. Uh, it'll be like a little mix and mingle where folks can come out. They can grab a bite to eat, grab a drink, and you know, hang out for the rest of the evening. Um, we're working on another event kind of like a late night event. It hasn't been solidified yet. Somebody invited us to come over to the, their place and host an event. Mm -hmm. So we were planning on spending the entire evening at the university place, but we're going to 
basically do a surprise event for the city of Jackson, the state nice. of Mississippi. So uh, we'll just tweet you that when we get that stuff. I got you. You know, solid. Um, but on that Friday, that's the kind of like the flagship event. It's mm -hmm. the block jam. And then that's where the, the step and stroll challenge happens. So mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like a step show mm -hmm. and a stroll contest. Mm -hmm. But then you have this uh, kind of reality show feel to it. So the judges, instead of just writing stuff down on a paper, they give feedback to the contestants. So it's kind of like uh, everybody that signs up um, at Dreams Jackson on that evening, the 21st, there'll be like this massive contest where everybody's doing their thing at the same time while a DJ is playing. Right. And then the judges will be looking out over the crowd and they'll say, okay, uh, we want to pick those guys, uh, these young ladies over here, and you know we'll go to that next round and then after the next round uh of competition where it'll be you know them actually doing some stepping on stage and should i explain what stepping is well, well finish that and then okay. we'll get we'll get All down right. to the definitions okay so uh they'll go through that and that's why it's kind of like an interactive mm -hmm. uh step show right it's not just you know folks coming on doing their thing it's like the judges will give feedback, right? You know, live, real-time feedback, and then we're gonna make sure that we got our veto going, so folks can <laughs> right. can uh, you know interact with us on social media. Nice. And uh, we'll have an after party, mm -hmm. um, so we'll kick off that Friday evening, around about five, a happy hour. Then the block jam will happen with the step and stroll challenge. We got some performances by some uh, artists that are coming in from different areas of the state, and maybe even one from out of state. And, and this is. This is taking place all Friday. Friday, yeah, at Dreams. So I mean, we still have the rest of the weekend. Yeah, we, we still haven't got to Saturday and Sunday yet. So all right, this is Friday. So let's let, let's explain um, step. Step. And you said stroll. Strolling. Yeah, I see. I, see. I know what stepping is. You know, okay. Um, so st stepping is like a, a a syncopated percussive dance where different types of movements are uh, incorporated into a synchronized team. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are different styles of stepping, like uh, the Omegas, which I'm an Omega, we have hopping. And so some organizations have adopted that. We've always done, you know, the hopping. So it's kind of like real high impact. We call it high knee, low back. Uh, the Sigmas, which are like, they're notable like across the world for stepping. Um, theirs is, it's, it's still high impact, but they do a lot of hand clapping and, and slapping of the leg. So right. it's kind of kind of reminds you of the gumboot guys from uh, from West Africa. Right. So um, now strolling, it's kind of like stepping incorporated with music all at the same time, and everybody's doing the same thing. So you can see, you know, Greek organizations all in one single file line going through a party, mm -hmm. and they're doing, you know, kind of synchronized dance, uh, dance movements. Okay, I got yeah. you. I got you. So that's why we call it the step and stroll challenge because everybody has to be able to do everything. You can't be just a good step team. Mm -hmm. You got to be a good stroll team too. Okay. Yeah. Now that okay, now I know now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Um well, there's so much more to talk about. We're going to take a small break so we can fit it in. Okay. Uh, but thank you for that that definition, I, could, I had no idea like what you were talking about when you said strolling. But okay. now, now I do because I see it all the time yeah. when I watch things. So make sure you tune back in. Um, I'm sitting here with George Chuck with Mississippi Greek Weekend. Exposure TV, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. on Comcast Cable, Channel 18, Pad Network. For more inquiries on the 5th Annual Mississippi Greek Weekend, September the 20th through the 23rd, 2012, call 601-706-9273 or log on to www.mississippigreekweekend.com or go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube and type in Mississippi Greek Weekend. Exposure TV is produced by Peaches, host and producer of On Location TV. Thanks to House of Pain for their assistance.
Welcome back to Exposure TV. I'm your host, DB DJ Rain, and we're sitting here with George Chuck from Mississippi Greek Weekend. George, we were talking about the Friday event uh, with the block party, yeah. and we're about to get into the after party. Yeah, uh, the block jam, once we get done outside, and we'll continue to have you know our big performance stage, sound stage going outside, but then we've got an after party on the inside at Dreams, and Dreams, you know, they got three levels. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have, a, you know, like a chill level with uh, DJs on the other two levels, DJ Unpredictable and uh, probably Shane on Mac. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to call it Purple Friday because all of the Omegas in the city have joined together to host one party for that Friday night, you know, for the Mississippi Greek weekend. Right. Know, to show that unity that we're trying to promote mm -hmm. with, you know, all of the Greek organizations with Mississippi Greek weekend. So uh, we'll finish the night off on Friday with Purple Friday and, uh, you know, try to get ready to tailgate mm -hmm. that next Saturday morning. What time does the tailgate start? The tailgate, we're going to start at about 12. 12? Yeah. And we've got a massive tailgate plan. going to be plenty of barbecues. going to be plenty of, uh, of drink. Uh, it's go of course, it's going to be at the Veterans Memorial Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's Jackson State versus Southern. So right. Southern brings a huge following to Jackson. Mm -hmm. So Southern University of uh, Baton Rouge. They bring a huge audience to Jackson, and I think out of our two host hotels, we got about 30 rooms left, right. and we got two host hotels. <laughs> so uh, that, that's huge. Last year we only had one, you know. Now we got two. So yeah, that, yeah, that's amazing. You can really see the growth there. Yeah, and then after the game, we've got a uh, you know a couple of after parties. Um, we've got dreams again, mm -hmm. and then I think we'll be doing uh, free lines. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the ones that's that's not too solid yet. Right. But, uh, you know, last year we had everything in line, so we're looking to, to get everything, get all the particulars worked out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Saturday is the big, big Yeah, party so, day. you know, 12 to 12 noon to 2 a.m., 3 a.m., we're going to be hanging out a long time, so we got to make sure we take our B12. Right. <laughs> all right, so what do you guys have going on uh, Sunday? Sunday, we got to get up and we got to go to church, man. Church. Yeah. We're going to uh, Mount Helm with uh, Pastor C.J. Rhodes, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be over there at 11 o'clock at uh, Mount Helm Baptist Church in downtown, okay. downtown Jackson. And then uh, we'll be over there. We'll make a, a donation to the church and everything and look for a good word from Pastor Rhodes. Right. Yeah. Nice. Now, tons of stuff going on. Yeah. This is a great weekend. Um, what, are you guys, what are you guys doing to create a buzz for the event? Well, uh, one of the things that is been creating the buzz. We've been doing a lot of voter registration pop-up events. Mm -hmm. So we've been going to, you know, different nightclubs and we're passing out flyers and things and folks are like, okay, yeah, I've been hearing about this. So, and y'all are registered, registering us to vote too. And so a lot of people have really appreciated us just getting out there, making sure that folks know that, you know, voter education, you don't have to have an ID mm -hmm. to vote in this election. Um, popping up in different places that, you know, most people wouldn't go to do voter registration. And then we've been doing this big tour uh, where we, we're going to uh, every college campus in the state of Mississippi. So last weekend, well, you know, this past weekend, we followed Jackson State up to Memphis. Mm -hmm. But then we stopped off at a couple of places and passed out some flyers and gave away some towels and some T-shirts mm -hmm. to folks at the, the colleges up north. Um, we went down to Alcorn. They had a big block party down there. Uh, you know, did the same thing, got some video drops from some Greek organizations down there and made a YouTube video out of it. And, you know, it's probably like over a thousand views now. I hadn't checked it recently, but right. yeah, pretty good little uh, tour. And that tour is sponsored by uh, Greek Spirit Cuff. And so last year they gave us, um, I should have wore one today. That would have been pretty mm -hmm. cool. But uh, they're on our Facebook page, Greek Spirit Cuff, mm -hmm. and they've given us uh, some pretty cool giveaways for this year. And we'll be unveiling those later on tonight. Well, I mean, you know, that, I mean, that's a that's a commendable mission, though, to actually get these you know college kids, um, you know, registered to vote, and you know, some you know probably some of them interested where they might not have been interested in before. Yeah, somebody got to ask the question. Right. So if, if nobody ever asked a question about whatever the the issue is that that may you know be existing in the community, then we'll never get anywhere. So mm -hmm. you know, we we'll we'll ask the question. Right. Yeah. Now, going back to the uh, to the block jam, uh -huh. um, 
you know, we, we talked about artists. Uh, who were some of the artists that you had last year? Man, last year we've had, uh, who closed the show, Slim Pusher. Mm -hmm. Slim Pusher, uh, he's taken off. Uh, we had Cassius, mm -hmm. uh, Tricky, them boys. Um, we had another guy from Baton Rouge, Just Done. Um, we had a couple cats from North Mississippi, uh, a guy named Deshaun, Deshaun Doss, he hooked us up with some artists from North Mississippi. So uh, it seems like everybody that performed last year for Mississippi Greek Weekend, it was a pretty good springboard for whatever they had coming up for the, uh, that, that following you know, year. Right. And they were able to get some good traction as far as you know, exposure from Mississippi Greek Weekend with us pulling in different people from different parts of the Southeast. That's yeah, that's really great right yeah. there. That, yeah, that, that's really great for the music scene, the the whole weekend period. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's what we're trying to do, man. Make it good for Jackson. Now, you had those last year. Who do you who do you have planned for this year? This year, uh, we got a guy that's from the Canton area. He, his name is Camp Camden. Mm -hmm. um, he's actually hooking us up with. Uh, a nationally known artist that we can't say yet. Mm -hmm. So that'll be one of the surprises that we have at Mississippi Greek Weekend. It's not uh, me, is it? I mean, you can come by. Oh, man. I'm just <laughs> we, we don't have a contract on, <laughs> on, on rain yet. So, you know, uh, with it with it being charity oriented and we're raising this money, so mm -hmm. we just got to work out the specifics to right. where, you know, everybody's winning in the situation. Right. So exactly. the charities are winning and then also we're not trying to make you know, people come drive all the way down from wherever they got to drive for free. So we got to make sure we got the, the resources in place and got everything good for them. But um, we've got a, a couple more artists. Uh, we're going to have them boys. They're coming back again. Uh, Slim Pusher, he, he said he's going to come back again. Um, some of the guys, they escape me right now, man. But just check our Twitter feed. Mm -hmm. and we'll be updating everybody on the, okay. the artists that we'll have. Well, we're, you know, we're, we're almost out of time anyway, so mm -hmm. we're going to give out some contact information. But real quick, um, with all the events going on, which ones um, you know, are kid-friendly? Kid friendly. Well, definitely the, the walk that we're doing with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, like the night walk on mm -hmm. September 20th. And then the tailgate is kid-friendly. You know, kids are always running around tailgates. Um, the one event that I forgot to mention, which is Sunday after church, we'll be at Lake Heiko Park. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be doing like an Olympic style barbecue, so there'll be different contests that uh, families and Greek organizations can compete in, and then we'll also be doing voter registration again. So we've partnered with uh, the Children's Defense Fund mm -hmm. um, and, you know, some area public schools mm -hmm. to get folks out in the community, get them together, and we're going to hang out at Lake Heiko Park. We'll have DJs out there, food and everything. Man, it, I, I commend you and the rest of everybody that's involved in Mississippi Greek Weekend for, you know, the plethora of things that, that you guys are putting on. We appreciate you know, it. within the city, because I mean, you know, people, some people say, you know, might say, well, there's nothing to do, but there's plenty to do. You just gotta know where to look. Man, it's it's a lot of things to do in Jackson. You just gotta be, you know, willing to to get out and go do it and look for it. Well, real quick before we go, give out any contact information uh, that, that you need to get out there so people can get in contact with you guys and get involved or participate in the event. Okay. Uh, our website is MississippiGreekWeekend.com. You can spell it out or you can just put MSGreekWeekend.com. Either way, it's going to get to us. Mm -hmm. We've got a phone number, 601-706-9273. If you can't remember that, it's 706-YARD. Like All we're right. going to the yard, the college campus. Man, we're on Twitter, MS Greek Weekend. We're on Facebook, MS Greek Weekend, Mississippi Greek Weekend. We're on Instagram, MS Greek Weekend. So we've got everything branded to where mm -hmm. if you look for us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can find us. And even if you Google us, nice. you know, uh, everything will come up. You even get like some of the photos that other uh, media outlets have taken. So mm -hmm. we're, we're out there. Nice. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming through, and I wish the best of luck on the event. I wish I was going to be in town for it, but I know I know it's going to be even more success than it than it has been in previous years. So thank you for coming on the show. Make sure you check out Mississippi Greek Weekend and all the things it has to offer. And until next week.